Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Lee Queen here and I'm back with another video. Yes, it has been a while. I haven't posted in about two weeks now and I apologize. I have been extremely busy, but I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging. Today is a video that I'm sure a lot of you really didn't know about because I really didn't pay it any much mind before this video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use and move your mouse with NVDA. But as usual, before we get into this video, remember to like the video if you love the content, subscribe if you're new, and turn on your notification bell to be alerted when I post the next video on my channel. Also share the video with others because if you didn't know these keystrokes, I'm sure there are other persons out there as well that didn't know them. Also, please note that the instrumentals for this video have been provided by Inner Sanctum Entertainment LTD. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Now we all know that sighted persons will just look on their screen and use their mouse or trackpad to navigate and click on anything that they need. However, because we're depending on our screen reader and the use of our keyboard, that is not ideal for us to be using the physical mouse. This can be an issue sometimes because there are some situations in which when you're focused on something which you would press your enter key on like for example a checkbox or a button, in some situations when you press your enter key, it just won't press. The button won't press the checkbox won't check and you're wondering what is happening but yes still if a sighted person should come and move the mouse onto that item and click it the checkbox will check or the button will press thankfully nvidia has provided some commands that we can use to move our mouse pointer to where we're currently focused and so much more it also has a command that we can use to click the mouse instead of actually touching the physical mouse so with all of these keystrokes today that I'm going to show you, you don't even have to touch your mouse. So today I'm going to share these commands with you and I'm also going to be demonstrating how to use some of them and how you can change them to keystrokes that you are comfortable with. But before I show you these commands, you would first need to know what keyboard layout your NVDA is using. This is because the commands that I'm about to show you will differ depending on your layout. I know I'm using the laptop layout, but for those of you who don't have the slightest clue, let me show you how you can find out which layout you're using. First, you'll go to the NVDA menu by pressing your NVDA key plus your N as in nice. NVDA menu. Then down arrow to preferences and press enter. Preferences submenu P. Settings. S. Then press enter on settings. NVDA settings colon general left per then from here you can either down arrow to keyboard or press your k for quick letter navigation k keyboard 5 of 14 then tab once keyboard property page keyboard layout colon combo box laptop collapsed alt plus k and there you go so right there it should show you what keyboard layout you're currently using and you can always change that keyboard layout all right so now i can just escape out of this menu Folder view list. Now let's get into some commands. Please make note of the commands for your specific keyboard layout as we go through. Also note that the commands that I'm about to introduce to you that include the use of the number pad, these require your number lock to be off. So let's go through these commands. Left mouse click. For the desktop layout, this is numpad divide. And for the laptop layout, this is your NVIDIA key plus your left bracket, which is the key to the right of your P key. P as in pi. Left mouse button lock. For the desktop layout, this keystroke is shift plus numpad divide. And for the laptop layout, it is your NVIDIA key plus your control key plus your left bracket. Right mouse click. For the desktop layout, it is your numpad multiply. And for the laptop layout, it is your NVIDIA key plus your right bracket, which is to the right of the left bracket. Right mouse button lock. For the desktop, this is your shift plus your numpad multiply. And for the laptop, this is your NVIDIA key plus your control plus your right bracket. Move mouse to current navigator object. For your desktop, this is your NVIDIA key plus your numpad divide. And for your laptop, this is your NVIDIA key plus your shift plus your M as in mouse. Navigate to the object under the mouse. For desktop, this is your NVIDIA key plus your numpad multiply. For laptop, this is your NVIDIA key plus your shift plus your N as in nice. 
Now, let me demonstrate the actual use of some of these keystrokes. First of all, let me get into my Google Chrome. Toolbar. Adri let me type in something random at first. F, F, new frame banner landmark visited link. F, K, F, D. Now, let me navigate to a button that I know should be on this screen. Sir, sir, go, set clickable Google Apps button collapsed. All right, now let me demonstrate the use of moving the mouse pointer to where you are currently focused and clicking it with the mouse. Okay, now I'm currently focused on that Google Apps button. And, you know, usually if I press my enter here, it would open it. Expanded. And if I don't Clickable arrow, list with 15 items account draggable link search draggable link. Okay. Now let me escape to collapse it. Clickable Google Apps button collapsed. Great. Now let's show you how you would do it by moving the mouse. Okay. Remember I'm using the laptop layout. So for each key that I use here, you would just use the corresponding key for the desktop layout that I just announced to you before. All right, so for me, because I'm using the laptop layout, in order to move the mouse pointer to where I am currently focused, I would use my NVIDIA key plus my shift plus my M and it doesn't say anything to you. Now, I would use the key that allows me to do a left click because a left click is what is similar to a enter on our keyboard. Okay, so for persons with a laptop layout, that would be your NVDA plus your left bracket. Left click, clickable list with 15 items account, draggable link search, draggable link maps, drag. All right, and you see it does the same thing that my enter key would have done. Awesome. So now when you go on like websites where you're trying to enter on like a checkbox or a button and for some reason it just won't press or certain controls that should be opening when you press the enter and it just won't budge, you can try using this method. Now let me show you some ways that you can use the right click. Let me go into a Word document, for example. Document to de Now remember that in some of my previous videos, I always told you that using your applications key would open the context menu as well as if you use your Shift plus F10. But remember that all of those keys are equivalent to a right mouse click. Now, if you're in Microsoft Word, say for example, I have something selected. So let me select this word. Demonstrate. Cap D. Demonstrating selected. Then we're going to use the keystroke that allows you to move your mouse pointer to where you're currently at. So I'm going to use for laptop users again, your NVIDIA key plus your shift plus your M as in mouse. Demonstrating NVDA commands related to moving and using the mouse. And don't pay that any mind. Your words that you have selected are still selected there. Then let's use the keystroke that allows you to do a right mouse click. Now for laptop users, that would be your NVDA key plus your right bracket. Once again, desktop users follow along with the keystrokes that I gave you earlier. Right context menu menu. And it opens your context menu. And you can down arrow through it like a regular context menu. Now let me find copy for example. Cut remove copy put a copy of the selection on the clipboard so you can paste it somewhere else. And press enter. Document 2 dash word. Now let me go over to notepad. Start and notepad. Untitled dash notepad. Alright, now let me paste with my Ctrl plus V and let's read it. Demonstrating. There you go. So now you realize that you can also use that right click to open your context menu as well. So you can use all these keystrokes that I've given you today in order to be able to move your mouse and to be able to either left click or right click with them. Or in a case where you might have to move your NVIDIA focus to where the mouse is, you can be able to do that as well. For the keystrokes with the different locks, like the left mouse lock and the right mouse lock, I'm not exactly sure what situations you could use those in, but if I ever figure it out, I will get back to you guys with it. You know I always do. Now there's one last thing I want to show you before this video closes what if some of these keystrokes are too hard for you to reach and you want to be able to set them to keys that you're more familiar with or that are easier and faster for you to access well let me show you just how to do that first you'd want to open your nvda menu again so use your nvda key plus your n nvda menu then down arrow to preferences and press enter preferences sub menu p settings then S. Down arrow to input gestures and press enter. Speech to punctuate input gestures. N. 
Input gestures dial. This is the input gestures dialog. And if you could remember well, I made a video on all about how to do anything you want to do in this dialog. So what I want you to do is to go back to that video because I'm going to leave a link to that video down below in the description and find out how to use this dialogue because I give you different tips and different disclaimers of things that you need to know before you make any changes in this dialogue at all. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to get to where to change these keystrokes for the mouse. So what you're going to do is to down arrow to mouse or you can use M as first letter navigation right here. M. Miscellaneous collapsed 8 of M. Mouse collapsed 9 of 20 level 0. Okay, and once you're in mouse, you'll use your right arrow to expand it. Expanded. 8 items. Then down arrow to go through the items. Level 1 clicks the left mouse button once at the current mouse position collapsed 1 of 8. Alright, and then once you're selected on the one that you want in the menu, you'd expand it again with your right arrow. Expanded two items then down arrow again to go through the items level two numpad divide left paren keyboard all layouts right paren one of two nvda plus left bracket left paren laptop keyboard right paren two of two level two all right so that is how you would get to the different keystrokes that you want to change and you can always collapse the section you're in by using your left arrow collapsed and down arrow to the other options that you want to change Clicks the right mouse button once at the current, locks or unlocks the left, locks or unlocks the right mouse. Alright, so there you go. So you can go to the link to my input gestures dialogue video down below in the description and learn how you change your different keystrokes and things that you need to know before you change these keystrokes. But that is it guys for this video. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video and this video has been a great help to you. Please make note of these different keystrokes. Even though you might not use them on a daily basis, they are critical in some situations. Trust me me so thank you guys again for watching be sure to leave your comments down below like the video if you love the content subscribe if you're new and share it with others thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time